everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good whatever. We hope this video and this stream finds you fabulous. My name's Ruby, that's with Three Wise Jones. This is Prince Lydia with an X. And welcome, welcome, welcome to Crafty Corner. Yeah. Welcome. Let us know in the comments what your name is. And let me give you a little bit of information about how to find where to give us a little comment. So there's a few options here on the stream, but you're gonna wanna go with the one that says live chat, not the one that says top chat, even though it might seem like that would be the one you would want. <laughs> you wanna go to the live chat and you can tap a little whatever you need in there, questions, comments, and in this moment, let us know who you are, what your name is. We'd love to know who's joining us here today. And what are you joining us for? Officially welcome as well to All Together Now, Tram Shed's free arts program running every Tuesday and Sunday at 4 p.m. throughout most of spring on YouTube. Make sure you click and subscribe to our YouTube channel here. Make sure you press the bell. That means you get a little ding and a little reminder when we go live just like this. Yes, yes, yes. So don't forget, choose the live chat option and let us know what your name is. Also, feel free to let us know where you're tuning in from. We are coming to you live from Canada. Yes, we're coming live to you from our studio in Paris, Canada. And as I said, today's exercise is crafty corner and we're going to be making these newspaper wigs yes 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 newspaper wigs let's give them a little tour shall we first of all we have this flowing curly exciting trip to wherever wherever you need a curly look <laughs> hi emily nice to see you welcome welcome let us know where you're tuning in from Next, we have a Madame Pompadour inspired updo. Yes, ooh, ah. And here we have a little curly bob with fringe. Ooh, yes. There's so many options, so many styles. <laughs> We're gonna guide you step by step through making one of these today, and you can feel free to put your own style on it. Hi, Daniel. Welcome. Nice to have you. Let us know where you're tuning in from. We love to know, and Tramshed would too. So yes, as I said, we are gonna be doing a craft along. So you need your craft supplies. If you don't have them already, I'm gonna give you a little reminder. You need a plastic bag. Yes, yes, yes. Any old plastic bag will do. You need some scissors. Uh-huh, any old scissors will do. You need a marker or a pen. Yes, nice. You need a few sections of newspaper. This could be any kind of newspaper. It could be a shop flyer. We've got a few coupon bits going on here. Depends on the style, really. But get whatever newspaper you've got handy. That will be just fine. And last thing you will need is some clear sticky tape. So any width, any brand, any whatever, as long as it's clear and sticky, you're good to go. Now you might wanna have a little bit of a backup of some glue if you wanna go into a little bit more of an extravaganza style later, but no pressure. Those are the main things that you are gonna need. So if you don't have them already, go get them. And if you don't have something to drink, you might wanna get something too. We've got some good old fashioned H2O. One thing that helps crafts be amazing is being hydrated. Oh yeah. <laughs> So darlings, let's dive into the sesh. So a little reminder, today we're making a newspaper wig. We're doing it step by step. So you've got your bits, so you're gonna make one at the same time as us. And what's really great about this is only has a few steps. It is fun, it is flexible. Let's get into it. <laughs> so first you need to make the base for your cap, otherwise known as a wig cap. Oh, sorry, a base for your wig. So we take our plastic bag. It could be a plastic bag of any size or style. The main thing is you want it to be able to be big enough to cover your hair. Be super, super careful when you're putting on the plastic bag that you don't cover any part of your face. So 
Prince Lydia is gonna help me now. We're gonna put on this little plastic bag. Ooh, gorgeous, amazing. Daniel says, tuning in on YouTube from my phone. Perfect, hands-free. You're gonna need those hands, Daniel. Fantastic. So we've got the bag on my head. When it goes on your head, you want it to cover all of your hair. That's the main thing. Don't worry about it going too much lower than that. Hi, everyone, says Taddy in London. Hi, everyone. Back to you, Taddy. <laughs> Fantastic. We put the bag on. We've made it so that it's a little bit flusher with our head. So it's right, one rounded part of the bag is right next to my noggin. And then Lydia's tightened it just slightly so that it's not too loose on my head and it's not gonna slip on my face. Fantastic. So we've got our bags covering our glorious hairses and noggins. Next, you're gonna need your clear tape. Okay, now I said that you can have tape of any style and it's true, you really can. So get your tape, get it going. Prince Lydia is gonna do like a long strip like this and they're gonna go across the front of my hair line. So like right where my hair meets my scalp, they're gonna put that tape all across there. If you need to do two bits of tape, that's totally fine too. Take your time, we've got lots of time. So Prince Lydia's added another little bit of tape at the back. We're making a little circle all around the hairline. We're making that hair, new hairline out of tape. Yes, okay. So as you're putting your tape on, feel free to squish your bag a little bit. <laughs> feel free to make that bag just a little bit tighter and snugger, more snug to your head. So that will happen naturally maybe as well. So feel free to just let that happen, but make sure it's not too tight, okay? So get that tape on, it'll be a little bit more snug, but it shouldn't be too, too tight. Should still be able to lift the bag off your head. That feels good, Dan. Yeah, that feels good. Thanks for asking, darling. Creativity Untap says, living for this already. Yes, we're so glad. Creativity Untapped, get ready. It's gonna get even better. Okay, so we've got the tape all the way around the hairline. No worries if you're catching up, we won't leave you behind. Next, we're gonna add a strip of tape going from the center of my forehead back to the middle of the back of my head. Okay, great. Oh, and actually, that reminds me, I didn't say, if you're someone who has long hair or lots of hair, you're going to want to get that hair so it's a little bit out of the way. And by out of the way, I mean maybe a little bit lower at the back of your neck or maybe a, at the side in two little bunches, but a little bit lower on the head. That's exactly what you want. Just because if we have like a bun or a ponytail on our head, that's going to take up space and that might make the wig a little bit trickier, but should be fine either way. Don't worry if your hair is down loose as well. If that works for you, that works for us. <laughs> okay, cool. So we've done the tape all the way around the hairline. Now we've done a strip of tape from the middle of the forehead all the way back to the back of the head. Don't worry if that has to be several strips. Also, if you're working alone and you're finding it tricky to work on your own head, once you've got to this stage, because we're gonna do a little bit more, once you've got to this stage, you should be able to take it off and do what we need to do next by putting it on your knee or on a teddy bear or your cat or whatever. <laughs> Creativity on tap says, I'm Fion in Swansea. Did I say your name right? Did I say that name right? I hope I did. Welcome, welcome, welcome from Swansea. Great to have you. We're in Paris, Canada, actually. Yes, they have one of those. <laughs> so we've done the tape all the way around. We've done the tape across, and now we're gonna just tape, tape, tape to our heart's content. So you're gonna add tape anywhere where there's still plastic bags showing, but you're gonna stay in the frame of that little circle that you made. So don't go below the hairline that you've done. Just add in between. Nice, feels nice to have someone else do it for you. I hope you you have help, or I hope it feels uh, soothing while you're doing it to yourself as well. Fantastic. So filling it all in with tape. Feel free to let us know any questions or concerns as we're going along. Right now, we're just taking our time. 
We want this step to be nice and thorough so the rest can be nice and sturdy. Yay, thank you, Fionn. They said we pronounced <laughs> it right. <laughs> Marvelous, we're so glad. <laughs> As people whose names are often pronounced incorrectly, we know how it feels and we wouldn't wanna be one of those people. Whatever that means. <laughs> so glad, so glad. Okay, so tape all the way over. Do we need any more tape? Got a few bits of plastic bag. We're just gonna add a few more bits of tape. You add more tape as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, anywhere that there's plastic showing, you wanna add a little bit of tape. And also, here where we are in Paris, it's 1111. Make a wish. Amazing, it's gonna happen. When you've got crafty energy behind anything, everything is possible. <laughs> so one more bit of tape and we'll be good to go with our tape portion of the wig cap. Done, fantastic. All right, don't worry if you're not at this stage yet, we're gonna go slowly so you can catch up with us. We're gonna move on to the next step. So next you're gonna need your marker or your pen. So now what Prince Lydia is gonna do is they're gonna draw on our new hairline. Hello, I know, it's an exciting world of drag. We can have any hairline, we can have any hair. So they're gonna start by just doing a little line across the back, just to make some space for cutting. Make sure uh, there's space underneath nice and easy. They're gonna show you on this side that you need to make space for your glorious ears. Uh-huh. If Lydia says, if it looks a bit chunky, don't worry, we can cut it away. <laughs> so do you wanna do the other side and then we'll talk about the front hairline. So line all the way on the back, line on the side, making a little cutout for your little ears. Just cause this wig is a little bit stiffer than your normal wig, you gotta leave space for the ears is. So now we're going to do the hairline right here at the front. And this is your opportunity to already start getting creative and make it your own. So what are you gonna do with this hairline? Is it gonna be nice and round? Is it gonna be square? Is it gonna be jig jagged? Are you gonna have a fantastic widow's peak? Maybe you wanna have a little curl? I don't know. That is up to you. So feel free to add something like that. If you were gonna add uh, later in, in, the, in the workshop, maybe like a fringe or some bangs, maybe you wanna keep it a little bit more straight. And I think that's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna go with a little bit of straighter. Is that right? Okay, go ahead, Prince Lydia. Hairline me. I'm ready. Yes, amazing. I can feel the glamour already. <laughs> Fantastic, okay. There we can see this kind of rough and ready hairline all the way around. Now you can pop off your wig cap and look. Ba -ba. It's holding its shape. It's looking fantabulous. And you can see it's a bit chunky at the back, but we're gonna cut all that off now. That's the next step. So taking off your wig cap, grab your scissors. And if you need it, grab your friend who's helping you with scissors and cut, cut all that excess off. Get into it, get cutting, make space for your ears, make your new hairline. Oh, I'm so excited. We really hope you're enjoying this so far. Hope you're feeling the creative crafty juices flowing. <laughs> yes, yeah, so cut all that excess off. Don't forget to cut out your ears. Also, what's great about this craft and lots of crafts, not all of them, but lots of them, don't have to be super, super precise. So do your best to stay within these lines. You don't want it to be too small. So if anything, go outside your line so the cap stays a little bit bigger. That's much more preferred in this situation. Yes, okay. So cutting out your wig cap, cutting out all the excess, cutting out for your little ears, making that space. Wonderful. Does anyone have any new troubles or any problems? Just let us know because that is step one, making your wig cap. Yeah. So a little reminder, we put the plastic bag on the head, put it on snugly, 
we were careful of going over our face. Then we added tape. We made a nice taped cap and hairline. Then we measured our hairline and made a new one with space for our ears is. Oh, wonky. Space for our ears is. And then we cut off that excess, ready to go. Yay! So before we move on, we just want to leave any space for you to catch up. And if anyone does have any questions or concerns, Prince Lydia, is there anything that I forgot to say while you were building this cap on my um, I don't head? Think so. <laughs> I think top tip is don't make it too tight and don't make it too Top tip is not too tight, not too loose, just right. Hey, we can do that. We can do that, no problem. So if you've got a wig cap that could go back on your head, you're probably in a good position. Fantastic. And if you are documenting your journey here today, this is a perfect time to take just another selfie to show what you look like now wearing the cap, now be capted, cap OLED. <laughs> okay, we're gonna take one. Yeah, and we're gonna tag Tramshed Arts in that a little bit later. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so darlings, feel free to ask any questions as we're going forward, but we're gonna move on to the next step. So the next step is cutting the hair, cutting the hair, making the strips of hair. So I need you to grab your newspaper and I need you to grab your scissors. And if someone is helping with the scissors, get them back in here. You need their help. Just ask them to stay for the full, the full 60 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> now we're going to cut out different strips for hair. Now, when it comes to this, you want to cut out the whole length of the section. It's better to have long strips to work with and to trim them later than to have shorter strips that you have that are shorter than you want later basically because we're going to do some things to change these strips make them shorter make them different shapes all that kind of fun stuff so prince lydia is now cutting out the strips now when it comes to how wide should these strips be it is a little bit flexible i would say that start off a little bit wider because we're still understanding all the techniques and all the things that we're doing today. So if you're an adult person, maybe the width of two fingers might be correct. And if you're a young person, maybe the width of three fingers might be more correct. Try not to do anything too uh, slim just right now, too narrow, uh, just because it might be a little bit tricky to work with later. You can always do another wig in your own time and make the strips a different width to suit you better. Let me know that that makes sense. Let me know any questions. Now here comes a meditative time of just cutting out strips of newspaper. Ah, let the world just pass by. All your troubles and worries, just leave the space as all we need to do and everything that is required is to cut up strips of newspaper. Yes. <laughs> feels so good to be crafting and being creative. Um, even in these digital and virtual realms, we love this amazing program that Tramshed has put together. And don't forget, you can join them every Tuesday and Sunday for these amazing workshops. Different things, all different kinds of stuff, craft stuff, sound stuff, word stuff, but all theatrical in various ways. Also, if you are in the area where Tramshed is in Woolwich, you can actually take a little stroll down to the Tramshed building, which is right by the tube station. And they have a cool, cool, cool window with all these different things to excite and inspire you. I think there might even be some newspaper wigs in there. And if there isn't, there will be tomorrow. <laughs> so make sure if you are in that area, you go and check them out. Also, if you are unable to attend any of these streams, they are saving these streams for future usage on this channel. And they have like Word doc versions of things to give you a little insight if you don't have video access. How good is that? Let's give Trim Shot a clap. Yes, very good, very good, very good. <laughs> okay, so don't worry if you're not done. And in a way, you might be asking, how much newspaper should I cut? I'm like, just cut all the newspaper under the sun. Every bit of newspaper you've got, give it a little snip. You can always recycle it later, or you can always just make the biggest wig possible. <laughs> yes. So we've cut out our strips. You might still be cutting, so don't worry. Uh, we might need to cut a little bit more as we go along 
we're going to show you what we're going to do next. Now, today you're learning all the techniques of making a newspaper wig. In the future, when you make your own, you might want to do things in a little bit of a different order, but we're teaching you in this order because we feel like it's the best one for learning and understanding the different techniques. So we are going to attach the hair, the strands, the strips now to the wig cap. Yes. So you need your strips and strands and you need your tape. So get a nice little bit of tape, maybe one like as long as your thumb. I want you to put half of that tape on the strip and half of that tape is going to attach that strip to your wig cap. Start at the bottom and just start as low as you can go. Ooh. <laughs> as low as you can go, bottom to the top. You can always add a little bit more in later, um, but try to get like a general overall coverage of these strips. This is something definitely you could be doing off your head if you're working alone, because you've got that nice sturdy wig cap to work with now. Fantastic. I'm just going to turn so you have a little peek at what we're here. So Lydia's covering the starting as low as we can go. Right? Kind of aiming so that you kind of can't see that plastic bag. Or if it's a clear plastic bag, you can't see it anymore. Now you could see in the future if you wanted to make your own. You could, in another time, in a different style, you could think about things like, what color is the plastic bag? Because maybe you want to make like a purple wig, so you need a purple plastic bag and some purple tape. That's a real thing. <laughs> or maybe you want to keep it neutral and flexible, like we are with the newsprint and things we have around our house. Yes, amazing. Oh, slight mic problems when I'm turning. Apologies for that. I won't do that again or I'll be more mindful. Thank you so much for letting me know, team. <laughs> what I was just saying is, make sure you cover as much of the wig cap, the plastic bag as possible. Make sure you're going low to high with these levels. And I was also just mentioning, in the future, if you wanted to make your own, you uh, again, you could think about things like the color of the bag and the color of the paper and even the color of the tape. That could be something that you could consider and would make it extra zhuzhi special. Yes, yes, yes. I want to make sure that you heard that because that is a top tip. <laughs> Important top tip. So take your time, get your hairs is on. It will take a little while. Another little suggestion that I have that we aren't doing today is in the future, if you wanted to do one that maybe had um, um, some sort of sticky out bits of hair, like little ponytails all over or a Mohican or something fabulous and graphic like that, you could cover the whole wig cap after you make it like this with strips of paper so that you have a wig cap that's entirely newsprint and then you're a little bit more flexible with where you put the rest of the hair. That's a fun way to get it a little bit more covered and give you a little bit more flexibility with the style as well. We're not gonna do that today because we're doing a long flowing style, which will cover the whole thing. Um, but that's definitely something to think about when you're working on it on your own. Now you might be thinking, these are long. <laughs> Well, the thing that we're going to do after we get all these strips on is we're going to style and mold these strips and that will change the length and we can always give them a little snip and haircut if we need as well. Yes, looking very Cher in her um, Naughty's music video stage. I can't remember which uh, video it was now where Cher was wearing the newspaper wig, but iconic. <laughs> <laughs> what other celebrities would look good at a newspaper wig? Miss Piggy, I think, would look great in a newspaper wig. Um, who do you think would look good in a newspaper wig? I feel like Boris Johnson is always wearing a newspaper wig. Um, <laughs> <laughs> let us know in the comments. Yes, who would you like to see donning one of these newspaper chapeaus? 
Also, let us know if you're having any concerns. Don't worry if you're not going as quick as us. It's quite a simple process, so once you understand it, you'll just be able to motor along. Also, you'll have time at the end, and you can even catch up with this recording if you need any reminders of steps or top tips. Fantastic. Oh, yes. Feeling the glamour like never before. <laughs> We're going for a little of a curly bob today with a with the fringe. How about you? What do you think you might go for? You're like, I don't know, it's happening. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. So I'm just gonna turn slightly. I'll be mindful of my mic uh, lead there. But yes, looking very Cleopatra. Cleopatra meets Friar Tuck meets <laughs> um, Klaus Nomi. <laughs> so darlings, keep going with your newspaper. Get it all over. Cover as much paper, paper bag? That would be tricky. Plastic bag as possible. Do you need help with tape, darling? I need some more strips, but I might start curling these. Okay, cool. So Prince Lydia is just getting a little bit more tape. You take your time, get any tape you need going as well. Get any strips on there too. Um, take your time, we've got time. And yes, let us know any questions or concerns. If anything is feeling too fiddly or a little bit tricky, just let us know. And feel free, I think, just do the whole thing because of timing. Okay. Yeah. Emily says, I'm definitely going to rock this wig to elevate lockdown tracksuit bottoms. Yes, and you know, newspaper tracky bottoms, actually perfect coordination. And this is just the judge everybody needs to see nowadays. You know, we all can use a little bit of a boost in the different moments and in different ways. And I think newspaper wig, great place to start. I <laughs> love that, Emily. <laughs> I'm excited to see your wig. I'm excited to see what style you've chosen as well. <laughs> I'm gonna take a midway through selfie just to document this glamour and this glory. <laughs> Make sure you do the same. <laughs> Make sure you document your creativity and the fun. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, and yes, there you can see where you can tag Tramshed so everyone can see your glorious wig and process. Trust the process, darlings. Document the process. <laughs> Can't wait to see it. So we're attaching all of our strips. It's a bit crunchy in my ears with all these strips. <laughs> but hopefully you enjoy the sound and it's working with your music that we're enjoying as well. Fantastic. So we're gonna spend another mm, five-ish minutes getting our strips on. So don't worry, no one's behind. And if you're well ahead, add some more strips, add some more hair, cut out some more. Maybe you can have a little bit more here, there, or everywhere. Yes. Prince Lydia, what is your top tip for attaching these strips? Okay, so don't have the sellotape too wide. Don't make the tape too wide if you can help it. Okay, yes. Mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. quite, quite level with the strip, top okay. tip, yes. And also my top tip, which I kind of mentioned already earlier, make sure you've got enough tape on both the strip and attaching to the plastic bag. You don't want it to be too uh, narrow a strip of tape on either part because we want it to stick nicely and we want it to last nicely as well. Perfect, thank you darling, that's amazing. All right, great. Keep going, you're doing good. Hope you're enjoying this. Hope you're having fun. <gasps> I can see the glamour and the magic building already in the universe, growing simply because of this amazing creative task. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Fantastic. Maybe you wanna leave space for a middle part, no pressure. Maybe that's your thing. 
but getting these strips all over. Don't worry about them being too concentrated, but also don't worry too much about them being too spaced out. Because so you can always add more later if you realize, oh, there's a little gap or you need a little extra zhuzh in that area or whatever. There's definitely gonna be space for that. So no worries. Just put on as much as feels right. Just put on as much as possible, really. That's what we're doing. Yes. If you're working with some longer strips, it might be a little tricky to do on your own head. So you might have to take it off and put it on your friend's head or your cat's head or your dog's head or your teddy bear's head or whoever's head or whatever round object is near you. A water bottle, a coffee cup, a pot, whatever it might be. <laughs> Just as a little stand. Could be your own knee actually, that's a good one. Oh my gosh, yes, we're almost there. Look at the, look at the fullness. Look at the magic. Love it. We're gonna cover just a little bit more. But as you've seen, Prince Lydia has gone all the way around the hairline, all the way up, kind of in layers like that cake that we talked about. Mm -hmm. So good. Let me know in the comments what kind of cake, if you could have any cake right now, you would have. I would have, oh, it's so tricky. Cake's so good. I'd have the cake from Bubble Club. Okay, so <laughs> Lydia says they would have the cake from Bubble Club. And Bubble Club is a company which I believe still exists in London. And it specializes working with adults with developmental disabilities. And they are such a fun company. And they do super fun events. And we were so lucky to be able to attend and perform at their birthday party. And they had the most delicious cake that five years on, Lydia's still thinking about this cake. <laughs> Fionn asks, how do you make the hair curly? Good question. That's our next step, actually. Once we get the hair all over the cap, that's when we're gonna start styling it. And we'll show you really slowly and clearly how to do that curling. And hopefully it will be something that uh, you might have experienced in one way or another before. <laughs> so get all the hair on, then we're gonna get curly, curl magic. Now, I'll talk about a little bit more when we get there, but there's lots of options. We can have curly hair, we could have crimpy hair, we could have crinkly hair, we could have lots of different textures of hair and hair magic. So get ready for some possibilities. Emily says, I feel like my wig is very Victoria Sponge vibes right now. Oh my gosh, Victoria Sponge. Classic. That was the cake that came to my mind actually, because um, in Canada, we don't know yet about our access to Victoria Sponge. Okay, I'm not sure. And I just, I kind of don't even want to think about it right now because if it's possible <laughs> that I can't have it, sad times. So <laughs> Victoria sponge is also my choice because it is absolutely delicious and a Victoria sponge vibed wig. Yes, please. <laughs> yes, please, Emily. <laughs> okay. Almost there. We're just going to put on another little layer, but because we're going to add a fringe, we're going to leave this front just a little bit bare. So as you can see, we're just nearing the middle Cut came all the way up putting those icing and sprinkle bits on top now. <laughs> Actually, this is just the, the icing. Later, we're gonna add the sprinkles and the decorations and the figurines of you holding your cat or whatever. Okay. Oh my gosh, this is very Cleopatra now. Okay, amazing. Wig, almost wigged. <laughs> so the hair is attached. It is all over. It is glorious. Now we are going to teach you how to curl the hair. So I'm going to move out of the way and Prince Lydia is going to show you not on my head how you can do that. So we put the scissors onto the strip of paper, kind of like you would a ribbon that you're curling for a gift. You gently place a thumb next to that paper 
and then you gently pull the paper through the scissors with your thumb still there, just applying a light bit of pressure. Now, it might take a few times for you to get this because newspaper is a little bit more delicate. It's totally, you know, common basically for the newspaper to tear. So do a couple practices before you get into the wig. But also don't worry if you get a little tear on your wig. You can always add more hair. You can tape another curl on. It's totally fine. But practice a few before you start curling the one on your head. So again, you put the one edge of the scissors onto the newspaper. You gently place a thumb on top just for a little bit of pressure. And then you press, press? <laughs> you have a little bit of pressure and you guide that strip of newspaper through, giving it that little curl twirl, whirl. Yes. Now, depending how many times you do it or how tight you do it, the curl will be different thicknesses. So that's something to keep in mind with your style. Do you want a loose and wavy curl? Do you want a nice tight and taut curl? Do you want somewhere in between? Do you want it to curl this way? Do you want it to curl this way? You want to put the scissors on the underside if you want it to curl in <laughs> and actually practice so you can be clear about that. You can curl a few different ways. Also, if you put the scissors on a bit of a, a diagonal as opposed to straight across the paper, you get kind of a ish diagonal curl. So that is how to curl the strips. Please let us know if you have any questions about that, just because we want that to be super clear for you all. So this is a diagonal one. Oh, sometimes it cakes a couple times and you can see it's got a slight slant, like a slight, a slight angle to it that we didn't have on the other ones. The other ones curled up in on themselves. This one didn't because it had a little bit of a different angle to work with. How fun. Can you believe it that we can do that when newspaper? We can do so many things. That's a super tight curl. That's a nice straight one. There's so many options. So that is just how to curl. Prince Lydia is gonna get curling and I'm gonna ask, do you have any questions about curling? Prince Lydia is gonna start from the top and work the way down because that's a little bit easier in this case. Please let me know any questions or any concerns about the curling. The other option I was talking about is having a little crimp. And to do that, you could just fold the paper in on itself little folds like that, like a little spring. And that just gives it like a little bit of a different texture, a kind of more angular texture. That's an option as well. Oh, do you want me to hold that darling? <laughs> you might need a friend to hold it. You might need to, um... yeah, you might need to do a little fixing if you're not with a person or not having assistance but hopefully that's going okay for you. I'm feeling like I'm ready to put on my tracky bottoms and go to the shop. I'm so <laughs> ready. Okay, so look at all that shush. Prince Lydia's curling underneath, so that means the curl is going underneath. If you wanted your curl to go the other way, flip out, then you would curl with the scissors on top. Yes. Feel free to ask any questions. There's no such thing as a silly question. If you have any questions, please just ask. It is such a nice sound to have all this curling happen around you. <laughs> now do think about the style of your wig that you're making here when it comes to the curling. What are you going for? We're gonna go for a kind of similar uh, tightness and length of curl all over to make a kind of little bob situation. You might want to have tight, cute little curls on top and a long flowing curls at the bottom, a kind of curly mullet. That could be cute. You might want to have long flowing curls all over. You might want to have a little kind of Shirley Temple sausage roll curls. Get into it. Whatever length you want is cool. Give it a try. You can always change it, give it a little trim as well, or some of these curls as well. You can even stretch them out lightly later if they're a little bit too tight. It's so fun how easy it is to work with newspaper, to mix it up. 
to make it different. I'm gonna take a little selfie here as we're going along. Ding! <laughs> You can tag at Tram Shed on Instagram and Facebook and all that kind of stuff. I know that we would love to see your wigs and I know that they would love to see them as well. So feel free to give us a little tagola if you do share any of your picks and process. Oh my gosh, it's coming together. Looking good. And also practice makes perfect. We've probably made over a dozen of these wigs now. So if you're looking and thinking, my wig doesn't look like that, <laughs> that's fine. You haven't made one before, you're just learning. I'm sure it looks stupendous. And by the time you've made 12, yours will look even more stupendous. So just be creative, just have fun. Prince Lydia, any top tips for styling the hair strips? Be gentler than you think with the newspaper. That's a really good top tip. I think that is a really good one. My top tip is make sure you do practice whatever technique you wanna do on the wig off the wig first, just to give it a kind of run through, just so you have an idea of what it looks like, how much it's gonna curl, how much it's gonna crinkle, whatever you're working with. Oh my gosh, it's feeling so luxurious <laughs> and magical. I'm feeling the share vibes. I kind of feel like I'm in an operetta as well. I don't know why, but operetta, it feels like you would definitely go see an operetta where everybody's wearing newspaper wigs and newspaper outfits. <laughs> For sure. All right. How's everybody doing? Does anyone have any questions or concerns? Perfect time to take a sip of whatever beverage you have. Hydration is glorious. Also, there is an opera that is made out of newspaper. Oh, Prince Lydia, who used to um, specialize in working in theater and opera said, there is a newspaper opera. What, what newspaper opera? It, well, it's not a newspaper opera. It's oh. called Satya Graha by Philip Glass. It's, oh, okay. So it's it's by Philip Glass and it's called Satya Graha. And why is it a newspaper opera, because darling? Because they have huge, giant newspaper puppets. Because they have huge, giant newspaper puppets. And they have a whole city made out of newspaper. And a whole city made out of newspaper. Oh my gosh, they need to come to us for their wigs. <laughs> that sounds amazing. Which musical or theater show can you imagine being perfect for a newspaper wig? I would say, uh, or a newspaper world actually. Hmm, hmm. Blood Brothers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's like we've had every leading lady we can. I know the newspaper version. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Let us know in the comments if you're, ooh, if you're happy. Oh, it happens. It happens. But also, you know, the curls are very forgiving. So don't worry if you have any tears happening. Also, it's like, just make it a shorter wig then if it's happening a lot. <laughs> yeah, you can always add more in. You can always add more in. You can always go back in and add a, some more hair or some more layers or an extra curl. Oh my gosh. Look at this body. Look at this movement. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> yes. I'm like, also, I kind of wanted to say Priscilla because I feel like there could be a kind of like moment in the musical where suddenly just everything's newspaper and we don't even ask questions. We're just like, yes, yes, why not? <laughs> why not? <laughs> okay, so make sure you haven't missed any of those last little bits underneath. Now that you've got all these layers of luscious curls, also, don't worry too much if you're still curling the bottom layer or even still adding or cutting hair. This broadcast is going to be saved onto the Tram Shed YouTube channel so you can watch it anytime. And also, if you contact Tram Shed, 
you'd be able to get a copy of a zine that we've made that gives you the step-by-step -step steps of how to do this. Uh, they're gonna be sharing some links in the chat that can guide you in how you can get that and also more information about upcoming workshops. I have to ask you a little favor as well while we're doing this. There is a monitoring form, ooh, ah, that Tramshed would love to have some support with people who join these workshops filling out. It won't take too much time. It will just be a simple bit of feedback on the event, how you enjoyed it, what you enjoyed, what you didn't enjoy, what you liked, what you didn't like, what you'd like to see more of. If you enjoyed this, tell them. If you didn't enjoy this, tell them. It is super helpful for them because they are all about the community and they wanna know what you wanna do so that they can make things happen for you. So you can reach them with the, for the monitoring form rather on info at tramshed.org. Yes, that's right. And they would be most happy to get your feedback if you wouldn't mind. You can also contact them on that email if you have any questions about anything, or if you would like any of the kind of word versions of these videos. I kind of like my little hair sticking out the front here, actually. <laughs> but we're gonna add that when we add our little bangs. So yes, make sure you find us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, give us all the likes, give us all the tags. We'll do the same, we'll share your joy and your creativity and your wigs. Yes, 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 thank you. So darlings, let us know if you have any questions. We're nearing the end of the styling stage. Okay, I'm gonna just do a little turn without talking so you can see. <laughs> yes, that's right. And have you seen this on, um, on TikTok? So um, smile without your eyes. And then, oh no, okay, I can't remember. <laughs> I totally forgot. Never mind, go on TikTok. It's the model challenge. It's your blue steel face oh. challenge. Can't remember what it is now. Yeah, no, I don't oh, sorry, TikTok failed in my brain there. Okay, so this was a step where we have styled our strips. So in this case, we added curls all over. You might have added curls, you might have added kinks, you might have added crunches, you might have cut them to make them really small and wispy, whatever you did super cool. Now comes the time to add our finishing touches. So how can we take this wig to the next level? Do you want to add a fringe? Do you want to add a big ponytail on top? Do you want to add some extra ponytails on the side? What can you add to make this wig totally yours? You can make a newspaper hat and put that on. Whatever you've got going in that mind of yours, let it out create it in your wig world. We are gonna add a fringe and there's two different ways to add a fringe or in Canada known as bangs. You could put a thicker strip across the front, tape it here on the front, and then you could go in with scissors and just add a little kind of um, fringe, like little wispy, small little bit like that. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take these strips that we just made, any leftover strips, and we're gonna add them in short kind of chunks to give me a very dramatic fringe, darling. Some dramatic bangs. Now, what are you gonna add? Are you gonna add bangs? Are you gonna add a fringe? Same thing. Are you gonna add some ponytails? Are you gonna add some bunches? Are you gonna add a braid? Are you gonna add a hat? Let us know in the comments what you're gonna add to make this wig yours. So we're gonna show you that the fringe, the fringe that we're adding. So here it is. It's a, a strip, probably like a quarter of it, folded in half. Yes, to give a chunky graphic fringe. So we're covering that newspaper that's still showing and we're going for a full forehead fringe. Do it to it. Add whatever cuteness you're gonna add, add whatever different things you're gonna add. You could add a little extension in the back with longer lengths. You could add a little kind of wispy pop-up off the top. There's so many options. Ooh, yes, fringe-tastic. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited. Yeah, I like these chunky fringes. 
chunky fringes are really fun. And I bet everyone with fringe wishes fringes were this easy. Oh my God. <laughs> really cool. I can't wait to see what you're all building out there. And also just to reassure you once more, don't worry if you're still cutting hair or taping hair. This is gonna be here for you to review and catch up. But also it's just these few steps. So once you know them, you can just do them in your own time, in your own way. Hope you're doing okay. Hope you're having fun. Hope you're feeling wigged out. <laughs> so, oh, Prince Lydia is adding some extra curls in now so that the bangs don't have to go all the way across. Oh, it's just in my foss. Yeah, you can give it a little style. That's the great thing about a newspaper wig. You give a little snip, you could retape whatever you need. So now that we've added our fringe, our bangs, Prince Lydia is just going in and making sure that all of the plastic bag is covered so you can't see any of it on the top. These ones are curled in a slightly different direction, so it's giving us a little bit more fullness on the top. Ooh, ah. Yes, we love that. <laughs> Cute, I love it. A couple more, I think we'll be done. Now, my top tip for when it comes to this last step, which is just make it your own, have fun, make it your style, zhuzh it up, is make a bold choice and see it through to the end. Yes, so you might be thinking, whoa, this looks a bit wild, but I think it's important to just go all the way through, commit to that choice, see it through to the end, you'll be glad that you did. Prince Lydia is now adding these extra curls on top, so I've got some nice fullness. I have not only a fringe, but this kind of fun, funky, curly topper. Oh my gosh, I think this is quite literally the best one you've ever made, Prince Lydia, and you've made many. Yay. Yes, this is so exciting. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna take a little selfie. I love it. Yeah. Fantastic. Make sure you're <laughs> taking selfies. I wanna see them. So darlings, this is the final thing, the final product you have crafted and crafted along and made, or you're almost there with your newspaper wig. You made your wig cap with your plastic bag and your tape marking out your hairline. You cut strips of hair in various lengths and widths, you know, whatever works with the style you're working on. Then we attach them to the wig cap with tape, a little bit of extra tape so everything was nice and secure. Then we styled them, curls, kinks, swerves, whatever you had going on. And then the last step is we made it our own with fringe, with ponytails, with braids, with hats, with whatever your magic self came up with. Okay, yay. So we are done-ish. We're done our wig. Now we're happy to answer any questions anyone, anyone might have about anything. And don't forget, there's no such thing as a silly question. All questions are valid and important. So please do ask us any questions you might have as you're thinking or as you're taping or curling or whatever you're gonna be doing. I'm also just gonna remind you that Tram Shed would love to hear from you how you enjoyed this event, what you liked about it, what you didn't like about it, and you can contact them. They're gonna put a little link in the comments so you can reach that monitoring form at any time. Don't forget, there is activity sheet options for all of the workshops. So if you had a friend who wanted to join today who couldn't, you can get in touch with Tramshed on info at tramshed.org and get the activity sheets. We made a cute little zine with some graphic photos just to give you a little reminder of these steps. Now, let us know any questions. We're still waiting in case anyone has any queries. No worries if not. Now, when it comes to storing your newspaper wig, it is a little bit delicate. So if you do want to keep it for, you know, next time you're going to the shops or, you know, next time you're on the dance floor, make sure you keep it high up out of the way of cats and kids. <laughs> and sticky fingers and getting knocked over and whatever else. Just as long as it has its own place to breathe, this will last for a long time. Like if you put this on a wig, uh, a head or a coffee can or somewhere out of the way, this wig 
style is not gonna change. It will look like this months later as long as it's not disturbed. So just be careful. You could even put it gently into a box or somewhere like that so it could just be contained and a little bit out of the way if you wanted to keep it. Yeah, Yay. We on a potty cam. Yes, we kept our first one that we ever made ages ago now in a cupboard on a coffee can. <laughs> just out of the way, just for special occasions, you know. And actually, it started out that me and Prince Lydia, we emigrated to Canada and we had to send all of our stuff in advance. And by stuff, in our case, that meant costumes and wigs and all the things that we use to build theater. We had to send that in advance. So that meant that we got to Canada well before for our stuff and we need stuff. <laughs> so that's how we decided to make a newspaper wig because we needed a wig and we didn't have much and we were in quarantine actually. And so magic made it happen. <laughs> and we're so excited to see what you made happen. So please, 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 not immediately, whenever you're ready, take a selfie or take a picture of your wig and share it with us. You can see there on the screen all the places you can tag us and find us. We would love, love, love to see what you've got going. I'm gonna leave another minute or so in case anyone has any questions or concerns. And then otherwise we were gonna say goodbye. It's been so fun working with you all today. We wanna to thank so much everyone at Tramshed for being so professional and so technical and so exciting. You know, everyone there in, in London and Woolwich and beyond because it is online, you are so blessed to have Tramshed in your area, in your city, in your country, in your life. <laughs> so make sure you engage with the magic that they are putting out there. This Sunday, you can enjoy Singing for the Soul. And next Tuesday, you can join Build a Joke. These are going to be amazing, multifaceted workshops. The ones on Tuesdays are totally family friendly. And the ones on Sundays, probably a bit family friendly as well, <laughs> TBH. So make sure you do join them for all the magical things they've got going on. Find them on their socials and all that. You can find us on social media as well. Again, my name is Ruby. That's with three Y's, Jones. And this is Prince Lydia with an X. You can find us online. We run craft workshops, dance workshops for all levels. We do life drawing, shows, courses, all manner of magical performance theater stuff online. We'd love to have you. So darlings, I'm going to wait just a little bit longer to see if anyone has any super last questions. Don't forget to get in touch with Tramshed to find out about upcoming events, to answer their monitoring form, or if you need an activity sheet. They'll be happy to help you with whatever you need. Emily and Fionn both say they love the fringe. Yay! We're so glad. It actually works out really well, the fringe. And that's what I mean with committing and seeing it all the way to the end. It is a bit of a wild and wacky craft. So at the beginning, you might be thinking like, well, I'm not sure. But I think just go all the way to the end, commit, and you'll be happy that you did by the end. Fionn says, thank you so much, still taping and having fun. Amazing, fabulous, and take your time, darling people. It's always great to do a craft because it is a way to spend time with ourselves, to take care of ourselves, and to get our heads focused in a whole different department. So keep taping, keep cutting, keep curling, whatever you are doing, take your time, and you can always catch up on this recording if you forget any of the steps. Yay! This has been so wonderful and fun. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And we'll see you on the internet. Bye, everyone. Bye. Thank you. Bye.